We were hiding. Then they came and told us to move somewhere else where we could be protected and we believed them. We moved. We were around 50 people. But as soon as we got there, they came with their weapons, grenades and machetes and started killing us. Mukada Majir Dafroz was 39 in 1994. In April 1994, she'd been happily married with two children. The Hutu militia caught them in a suburb in Kigali. Her youngest son died strapped to her back. One of them came and shouted that if there's anyone still alive, they can come out and leave because the killers were fighting for the money they had robbed us. All the while I thought I was dead. There were bodies all over. I stretched myself, then reached for my children. My oldest son next to me was still breathing. I took him and we got out. Since he was six years old, he could walk. The genocide left ten times more widows than widowers. Tutsi men and boys were marked for death, however young. As we walked, we met others. They grabbed the boy and told me, we won't give him back to you. Go alone. Mukada Majida froze, did save and raise her orphaned nephews and nieces. She rebuilt her life in a special village in Kigali, created solely for widows. It's given a home to 18,000 in recent years, providing a community and counseling. I'm hopeful about the future because when I think about the past and the far I've come, I see a lot of progress. We no longer have these problems. I have really forgiven them. I know that revenge is for the Lord, so I try and rebuild my life because if I keep on hurting, it will be hard for me. My crime is that I took part in the genocide. I supported the killers and was happy when they killed the Tutsis because I didn't feel anything for them. I supported their killings. I took my case to the jury who then gave me a 30-year sentence but the courts reduced it to 19 years. I'm now serving my sentence and looking forward to leaving this place. This is my last year here. After 19 years, I'll finally walk away. My role in the genocide is painful, especially since I'm a woman who participated in killing Tutsis in the 1994 genocide. I feel bad because most of the people we killed were my friends. We shared meals together and hung out a lot. It really hurts me. I still feel sorry for my actions to this day. If I ever met the families of those killed, I'll ask for forgiveness, even though I asked for their forgiveness during my trial. And when I go back, I'll urge everyone to be peaceful and avoid war and bad things, bad groupings and hating each other.